all, welcome back to Rats Nest Hot Rods. This is the Astro Pneumatic 3 inch mini polisher kit 3055. I purchased from Amazon for $70 or so. I've been putting a 3 inch pad on a full size electric polisher uh, rotary, and that works, but it is so huge, uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass to use with a uh, when you got a 3 inch pad on there. So, made this uh, investment. I would call this. Uh, DIY grade, nicer quality than Harbor Freight, not as nice as, you know, something better. I'm sure if you take care of it, it'll last a long time just by judging the uh, build quality. Crack it open, blow molded case, only opens to 90 degrees, which is weird. Comes with the paperwork that tells you uh, don't call Amazon, call us if it breaks in 17 different languages. And the instruction also in uh, several languages. It shows you the parts break down, shows you how to hook up a compressor, which is always a great way to learn. And these really, really, really crappy uh, buffing pads. Uh, harder um, sponge for heavier cutting, a wool pad for really heavy cutting, and then a softer um, one for waxing and final polish flat wrench and of course the flexible uh, velcro three inch wheel here's the gun itself it's nice quality it looks good it's small fits in the hand it's light um, comfortable to hold looks like it's going to do the job pretty well i have been using this for uh, uh, about a week i used it on uh, one project as you can see it fits in the palm of your hand if you have big hands so we'll thread that bad boy in there real quick, courtesy of uh, High Speed Video. Buffing pads that come with this, uh, like I said, are terrible. Not worth it. Throw in a uh, quarter inch nozzle, air hose nozzle, and uh, we'll give this thing a rip. Slow it down a little bit so you can see it. it works good. Always put a drop of oil in there. And we'll rev this thing up. Right now it's on 80 PSI or so up, up there at the wall. So it's probably got 70 down there. Like I said, uh, hey, it does the job. It spins. The RPM's good. Uh, I, I have used it. I've ran the RPMs high and low. And uh, it doesn't uh, bog down or anything like that. I'm happy with it. I would also say that uh, it's relatively quiet. Um and we're just displaying it, how small it is. It's quiet, uh, doesn't leak a lot of air, blows the air straight back on, uh, if you see my lower hand there, that's where the air exits. And um, what can I say? Goof off with it here and try and bog it down, couldn't do it. One last look up close to personal here, and uh, then I'll show you these other pads that, uh, I don't know, I probably said it 10 times. They're bad. Open them up. That's the soft one, the polishing pad, the wool pad. And the best thing to do with these is uh, give them a thumbs down and then throw them into your garbage can, or in this case, a uh, 1965 Cadillac I'm working on. And I'll show you a set uh, that I use quite frequently and uh, I've had great luck with. Hold up a long time. They're very well made. Uh, they're, the company is ProBuff. I believe yeah pro buff and that's uh, number one so your heavy cutting wool pad then uh, you got uh, the number two and number three that will follow that a medium cut and a wax applier polisher they've got a real rigid um, flat portion in there where the velcro is that really helps and it also is cupped so that it goes around the disc and, and protects you from uh, screwing things up which I need all the help I can possibly get there's the number two medium cut and I'll crack out this uh, number three I put these through the wash machine after I use them um, probably five six times and then uh, let them dry throw them back in the Ziploc bag separately a uh, little bit OCD but what the hell that's the way I am all right, y'all, I guess we'll wrap this one up. I've shown you everything. I give it a uh, thumbs up. Uh, if you're looking for one, I think it was about $70 on Amazon, and it was well worth the price. 
Uh, thanks for the subscriptions, guys. It's, it's really awesome. Makes me feel good, and I'm glad you guys are getting something from it. Thanks for the comments, and I will leave you with peace and grease, sucker.